Humanity has been asking this question for a long time. Are we really alone in the universe? Is there a mind in its vast expanses, born under a different sun and looking at completely different stars in the night sky? The Kepler telescope was built for one purpose to inspect a certain section of the Milky Way in search of exoplanets. The so-called planet hunter has observed hundreds of thousands of stars and discovered thousands of exoplanets during his lifetime. But what if I tell you that the telescope has managed to detect planets potentially suitable for life like our Earth? Greetings to everyone on the Spaced Op channel. In this, I will tell you about the planets under the Earth on which there may well be another life. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We are trying very hard on each video. I wish you a pleasant viewing. Tepler's task was to continuously scan a fixed area of the sky within our Milky Way galaxy. At the time of launch, it had the largest primary mirror ever sent into space. Astronomers were interested in finding out how many stars with planets revolve around them and how many of these extrasolar planets or exoplanets have conditions suitable for the development of life. During his nine years in space, Kepler discovered 530,536 stars and confirmed the existence of 2,662 new exoplanets. These exoplanets are unlike anything we've ever seen in our solar system before. Most of them are significantly larger than the Earth and rotate so close to, to their stars that make one revolution every few days. Very strange worlds appear. Some of the sides are facing the stars, the temperature of which can melt iron. Others have entire hemispheres covered with oceans of molten liquid rock. Other exoplanets the size of Jupiter revolve not around one, but around two stars. If you stand on the surface of one of these planets, you will find yourself in orbit capable of seeing a double sunset, but Kepler's legacy is that he successfully discovered Earth-sized worlds orbiting at a safe distance from their host stars, inside the so-called habitable zone or Goldilocks zone. His task was to find planets where temperatures are warm enough for water to condense on their surface, but not so cold that it simply freezes completely. The presence of water is significant and the basis of life as we know it. One of these exoplanets, discovered by Kepler, has recently caused a stir among researchers called K218b in September 2019, Two scientific groups independently announced that they had detected signs of liquid water in the atmosphere of a planet located at a distance of 124 light years from Earth. Scientists also said that the star of this planet is quite stable, which suggests that the planet has a quite suitable temperature for life, similar to our Earth. Most likely, it may be one of the most potentially habitable planets in space, besides our planet. K218b is about eight times the mass of the Earth and three times its size. It orbits a main sequence red dwarf called K218. Red dwarf is the smallest, coldest star and by far the most common type of star in the Milky Way. Kepler first discovered the planet in the year 2015, and since then its composition has been studied using other telescopes such as the Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescope. When the telescope first discovered the potentially habitable exoplanet Kepler-186f, NASA announced its discovery. This space object ignited the imagination of space lovers around the world. At a distance of 500 light years from us is this comsical object. This planet has its own seasons and climate similar to ours. A new study from Georgia Tech University analyzed the rotation of the planet and the tilt of the axis and found that its tilt is stable as the Earth, which makes it likely that Kepler-186f also has regular seasons and a stable climate. The surface temperature of the planet is approximately 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is habitable. Scientists have also confirmed that Kepler-186f has water in liquid form, similar to our Earth. In fact, this planet can potentially be considered a copy of our Earth. But surprisingly, these are far from the only space objects that have been discovered. 
One of these planets is Kepler-1649c in the middle of the 2020th year. Looking through the old Kepler data and comparing them with the new data, astronomers confirmed the existence of another exoplanet with very favorable conditions for life. Kepler-1649c, located 300 light-years from Earth, is very similar to Earth in size and estimated temperature. This newly discovered world is only one whole, 600 times larger than our own planet, and also in terms of the amount of starlight it receives from its host star, which is also a red dwarf. The planet receives about the same amount of light from the star as the Earth receives from the Sun, which gives the planet a suitable temperature for life and water in a living form. Kepler-1649c is another example of an Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of a red dwarf. The next potentially habitable object on our list is Kepler-69c, discovered by the Kepler telescope on April 18, 2013. It is a superterrestrial extrasolar planet located at a distance of 2,430 light-years from Earth. It orbits the star every 242 days, which is similar to the orbital period of Venus, and its mass is twice that of Earth. Early data suggested that the temperature could definitely be habitable and it is similar to Earth's, but further analysts have shown that it is located outside the inner edge of the habitable zone, which means that the temperature there is higher than on Earth and is approximately 50 to 70 degrees Celsius. It is not too hot to sustain life. There is some opposition to this opinion, and the idea that it is livable is being discussed by some metropolitan experts. And the last two objects on our list, Kepler-438b and Kepler-442b, are Earth-sized and are located in the habitable zone. That is, the conditions there should be close to those on Earth and ensure the existence of water in the liquid phase a key condition necessary for protein life. Moreover, Kepler-438b is located in the constellation Lyra, and that's 470 light-years away from us. Kepler-442b is in the same place, but at a distance of 1,120 light-years very far away. It is unlikely that humanity will get there even in the distant future, and any contact with civilization, if it exists, of course, on one of these planets, is very difficult. It would take at least nine centuries to say hello to each other. Imagine that you send a message during the first crusade and receive a response when the satellites are already orbiting the Earth. Most potentially habitable planets revolve around so-called red dwarfs. Despite the fact that red dwarfs are colder, they tend to be more active than sun-like stars. Planets may be exposed to more harmful ultraviolet radiation than what we are used to here on Earth. Because of this, the surface temperature can range from minus 73 to 47 degrees Celsius. Astronomers have estimated that every fifth star like the Sun has planets the size of Earth and a surface temperature favorable for life. Given that about 20% of the stars in our galaxy are similar to the Sun, which is several billion potentially habitable stars. Kepler was finally decommissioned on October 30, 2018, because it ran out of fuel. Telesco was disabled by the team. The following month, it so happened that Kepler's retirement fell on the 338th anniversary of the death of Johannes Kepler, after whom he is named, although it is no longer functioning. These incredible discoveries predict the future the near future, in which astronomers will use new and improved telescopes on Earth and in space to better understand Kepler's numerous findings. One such telescope is already planned to be launched. The James Webb Telescope will allow us to take a much closer look at some of these Kepler objects of interest and, hopefully, will bring us closer to answering the question of whether we are alone in the universe. Thanks to his help, Astronomers will find many more strange worlds hidden in the dark depths of space. Who knows, maybe sometime in the distant future we will be able to fly to similar planets that are hundreds of light years away from us. Perhaps in the distant future we will colonize planets, or even find a completely different life there. 
Unfortunately, I do not have an answer to this question. Only after a long time we will be able to find out the truth. Well, I hope you like this video. Support it with your actinicity. Excuse me in the next video. Bye to everyone.